Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be an October Rose Girls haul. Now, I promised to myself I was not going to order anything from Rose Girls because I did place an order for the Mario pre-orders. <clears throat> now, she posted that she had some mini melters available, and there were too many to not place an order. So, needless to say... 15 mini melters are now in my hot little hands for me to sniff and share with you. So let's get into it. This is truly an unboxing video. I have my scissors right here. I haven't smelled anything. I just got home from work and now this is sitting here and I need to dive in. So when you first open a Rose Girls box, you are left with some beautiful gingham and a business card that fell on the floor. You have your business card that says, thanks for your order, Jenny Oaks Rose Girls. And I'll just toss that. You get your gingham tissue paper. And then you have some biodegradable packing peanuts and a whole lot of love, including a sample. Always love when you get a sample with Rose Girls, or with any vendor. And this is two little chunks in Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Now I'm really excited about this because Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow to me is a very basic oil. I talked about it in my empties. It to me just smells like a Jet Puff, Jet Puff Marshmallow bag. I don't really get anything exciting, but blended with Cupcakes at Tiffany's, which I do want to try on its own because I feel like I really like it. And I really, I really like this. So, to me, I actually can kind of get what more Cupcakes at Tiffany's is like. Because Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow really isn't much. It smells really, really good. I like... Cupcakes at Tiffany's can depend. Typically, it's like a yellow cake with chocolate icing and like toffee bits. So if I close my eyes and smell this, that's what I smell. I smell a really moist really rich, decadent chocolate cupcake. Chocolate frosted cupcake, I should say. Mmm. It's really yummy, and I love bakery scents, so getting a bakery scent as my sample can never go wrong. Now, I did get 15 bags of mini melters, and if you're not familiar, I'm trying to figure out which one I would want to start with. What mini melters are, are there little bags like this, and they include about, I think they're 8 ounces of little melts, and what I do as I pop one into every single warmer to get a throw, you can mix them, etc. Super fun. So I picked up 15. Some I got from like her everyday mini melters, and then some I got some special blends. The first one is Sweet Lemon Confection. I love her lemon scents. Jenny does bakery so well, and oh my god, this is like. Okay, this is interesting because. When I think of Sweet Lemon Confection, I think of a really decadent bakery. And to me, this is more Lemon Pledge, which is interesting. Definitely is lemon. Definitely like bright, zesty lemon. But it leans more towards the Pledge side. Hmm. I was expecting more bakery. I don't hate it because I do love lemon, but I was just expecting more bakery. That's why you order, right? You've got to try some things. This one is Snow Fairy. I was so excited for this one because it is a lush dupe. I love Snow Fairy. And this is Snow Fairy. Oh my god. And it, it cracks me up because when I worked at Lush, everybody thought Lush was a natural company when we're fresh and handmade cosmetics. And I always said, is anything about Snow Fairy natural? <laughs> when I would tell people like, oh, you work for Lush? Oh yeah, the natural store. Well, there's no such thing as Snow Fairy Essential Oil, which is literally like bubble gum and a very uh, UK term is candy floss, which is kind of like cotton candy. It's a very bubble gum candy, but what I love about when they do the Lush dupes, it has the Lush smell in it. And no matter how much I detested it working for Lush, I will always buy a bottle of Snow Fairy Shower Gel because I just love it. Speaking of a scent that I love, pistachio. I love pistachio. I don't ever remember ordering from Jenny on its own. 
this is pistachio. This is rich, uh, nutty, creamy pistachio. And I know a lot of times pistachio can come off as like cherry scented. This does not smell like cherry. It's definitely that really rich pistachio. Mm, I love. This will be great blending mm, to die for. Speaking of amazing blending, and I know it's totally not in season for it, but I wanted this to be nice and cured for when it is summer. Pineapple. Girl, I love pineapple, and I love a pineapple scent. And when I smelled this for the first time, I got a sample of it. Oh, it is straight up pineapple. It is everything that you wanted pineapple to be, but it's not. If that makes sense, it's like juicy and tangy and fresh like you just cut up a juicy fresh pineapple took the rind took the skin off and put it in this bag of wax oh my god and it is like it is like pucker even though pineapples aren't tart it's like pucker it's so strong <gasps> all right danny if you're watching this spruce willis I binged watch a ton of Rose Girls Mario pre-order videos. If you're unfamiliar, Rose Girls and Jenny does a blend um, inspired by Mario, a bunch of blends at Christmas time for a pre-order. You can order as much as you want, and then she pours out the entire month of November, ships them out in December. So right now she's in the pouring process, but I guess last year there was a blend called Spruce Willis, which is sugared spruce and sweater weather and it just sounded so up my alley because I love sugared spruce so I saw this was available in mini melters and I had to pick it up hmm I don't love it it kind of comes across as like a men's cologne and not what I thought Maybe Spruce Willis isn't sweater weather and sugared spruce. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. It's like almost like rosemary mint and maybe Christmas tree. Hmm. Well, let me know if I'm wrong on the description for Spruce Willis, but I could have sworn it was um, sweater weather and sugared spruce. I don't know. I don't hate it. I was just expecting something totally different than what it was. Ooh, dig in here. Honeydew. I got a lot of summery scents that she had available just because I like to let Rose Girls wax sit for a good long time and cure them. This is so good. It's not strong, which is which Honeydew naturally isn't a strong scent. That's so nice. It's like a juicy, warm honeydew. And I say warm, not meaning like cozy, more like warm, like it's just mellow. You know what I mean? Honeydews aren't typically cold when you put them in the fridge, but oh, honeydew and pineapple together, yum. Oh my goodness, so much wax. And then I have Dutch Apple Cookie Land, which is her cookie land, which is like her signature cookie scent. It's like toffee butterscotch pretzels. Oh, mixed with Dutch Apple. Oh, this is like, this is like an apple pie made with like a pretzel crust. Doesn't that sound amazing? Like you get a pretzel crust for your pie. So a little bit of salt to bring out the pretzel and bring out the sweetness of the apple and then fill it with apple pie filling. Ooh, I wonder if anybody makes that. Sounds delish. All right. I got this in a blend. I did not like it. Everybody raves about this scent. So that's the only reason why I ordered it on its own. Coastal Kale. We're going to see. Okay. I, I really like it. It must have been that whatever it was blended with, which I don't remember what I got it with. I can see how this smells like kale. But it's really fresh. And, like, when people say they pop this in their bathroom, I can totally see why. Because it is like that, not zesty, but, like, tangy? Very, very bright. Almost like lime like in kale almost 
like a very green lime scent without being like fruity, if that makes any sense. Like really fresh and wake you up. So Coastal Kale, I'm really excited about that one. Next, as we dig into the bag, is Cracklin' Birch and Cranberry Woods. Now, I love Cranberry Woods. It's one of my favorite fall scents from Bath & Body Works. I've never tried her Cracklin' Birch. I was going to order from the last restock that she had with Cracklin' Birch Fluff Puffs because I wanted to try it, but it was really the only one that I really wanted and I wasn't going to pay shipping for that. Cranberry Woods, 100%. Maybe that's because I know exactly what that oil is. And when I think of crackling birch, I think of like fireside or I think of like white birch. So I'm not sure if that's what her crackling birch is, but it's an extra woodiness with the cranberry woods. Like I almost feel like crackling birch adds an emphasis to the woodiness of the cranberry woods. So if you like cranberry woods, but you want something a little bit more cool, a little bit more woodsy, quote unquote. But I feel like this would be good if it's really cold outside and like you're having a, a not necessarily a party, but you have some people over, maybe you're making a fire outside and you come inside, you come in the house and you'd be like, oh, it smells really clean. I really like that. Not clean as in like gross clean, not gross, you know what I mean. Biolage matrix type. I love the scent of Biolage shampoo. I know not a lot of people do. I do, and that's exactly what this smells like. Like, like you just stepped out of the salon, and I wanted this for my bathroom. And I also think this would be nice blended with a coastal kale, so that's mainly why I ordered that one. I'm going right through this. Cranberry Macintosh Donut Holes. I love cranberry scents. I don't have enough cranberry in my life. So, mixed with Mac Apple and Donut Holes. Oh, okay. My nose really just went on a little, like, what was that? Hmm. I smell Mac Apple, but it's not bitey like sometimes Mac Apple can be. Sometimes Mac Apple, when you smell it, can come across as very, very sharp. And I almost wonder that if the donut hole's toning that down. But, like, smelling it off the bat, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a donut scent. It's more, or like a bakery scent. It's like an apple. It is apple. And cranberry. It's definitely like 40% cranberry, 60% apple. And I honestly, I'm not getting a ton of donut. And it's donut holes, so there's probably not much of like a cinnamony, sugary. It's more like a yeasty donut. Oh, Cider Lane Baked Zucchini Bread. Cider Lane is my kryptonite. Zucchini bread literally makes everything like crack. You can't get enough of it. Oh my. Catherine King. I watched her haul. You did not get this. Oh my god. I need a minute. Texted Catherine, told her she needed to get it, inhaled a few times. This is a winner, baby. Oh my god. The zucchini bread is creamy with just the right amount of spice, and the cider lane just sweetens it up and makes it chef's kiss. Okay. Is there anything more iconic than Rose Girls and Vendor Wax? No. Is there anything more iconic than this bag? Carbs with cool friends. Everybody knows when these colors are blended together in wax, you don't even need to see the label, you don't need to see the name. It's Rose Girls Carbs with Ghoul Friends. I don't care, I'll never have too much of this. Her Carbs with Ghoul Friends is like the epitome of like bakery amazingness. So it's all of her carbs, which is like Fresh baked bread, zucchini bread, um, this bread, that bread, donuts, you know, wafers, all of it. Blended with pumpkin sugared donuts. I mean, heaven. And Lori Brown mentioned that, like, this is something that she is melts 
She is melts. She does melt in the fall, but like she never wants to be without it. This is gonna be like my little emergency bag. Like, I know I'm not gonna melt it in the summer because it is a fall scent, but like I just wanna hold carbs with ghoul friends forever just in case she doesn't make it again. And then I'll really hoard, hoard it, but I mean, purple, black, lime green, and orange in a bakery scent. I mean, it's perfection. Somebody's doing something outside. Two more left. One, pretty simple, fresh picked strawberries. Again, another one that I just really wanted to have on hand because I love strawberry. And I love, it is, it is like a fresh picked strawberry. It's nothing like the Destination Wax Strawberry Seeds. That's the best strawberry, but your nose gets used to the same thing, so I wanted a little switch up. This definitely leans more towards the candied strawberry. It's, to me, this smells like those hard candies that you had that were like... The candy itself wasn't shaped like a strawberry, but the wrapper had like a green top, and then like the body of the candy was like like strawberry seed packaging. That's what it, that smells like. And then last but not least, super Christmassy, I ordered this in a whole pie, Christmas Eve in Cookie Land. Now, I believe this is eggnog something else in Cookie Land. I, I knew I couldn't wait till December to try it. I think... Does Jenny typically offer her mini melters in just plain eggnog? Because I'd like to try it. Because to me, this is just a creamy um, cookie land. I'm sure when you melt it, it'll come out more, but I need to smell her eggnog oil on its own before I can make my final verdict. I can smell like a little bit of something that I would think is eggnog, but to be honest, like right off the top, I don't necessarily say it's eggnog and cookie land. I want to smell eggnog on its own first. I haven't really explored eggnog oil. That's a new one for me. That was a really good order. And now, that's it. Let me know if you guys have tried Rose Girls. I mean, I'm sure you have if you're watching this video. Let me know if you ordered anything from this order. If you make YouTube videos and I'm not sure, I want to watch. Send me your channels down below. Make sure you hit that notification bell in the corner so that way you are alerted every time I upload in this channel. I'll talk to you guys soon. Make it a great day and be kind. Love you.